Okay guys, so, this is the piece of plasterboard that's going to go on the back, at the left, and what we've done is we've measured the angle of the shed, put that there, drew the line, lined it up, drew the line with the straight edge, and measured from there to there, and that is the height of the shed, and this basically, this is where the two bits meet and there's like a straight bit here, so it doesn't go into a point, but this is what we don't need, and then this is the wall. Okay guys, so it's raining, but there is the shed. Hmm, looks not the same. Where have the windows gone? We took them out, I smashed that one. Um, by accident. But we, we took these two out. This is the opening window. So we kept it in. Um, but, um, it's very different inside. As well as the fact that we now have a latch here. And also, it's insulated. So we've got two pieces of plasterboard in, sorry. We're going to do all of them in plasterboard, not the floor or the roof. But we're putting rock wool up there. This is special acoustic rock wool. The doors are going to be done with the insulation as well. And it's going to have like that tape stuff that goes around there just to keep it really insulated and stuff. Yeah, here's the shed. If, I, if you haven't watched any of the other ones, yeah, I'll put it in a playlist at the end of the video and check, watch part one up here. Let's do some more time lapses. So see you then. Okay guys, so, as you can see, I, we have, um, me and my dad have finished plasterboarding the walls. We're now insulating with the rock wall and also plywood up that door. And then we're going to put some sellotex in that door, or if we can, rock wall, that's if we have enough. Oh. 